Well, for the past two days, President Trump has been hosting the Chinese president in Florida, trying to improve relations with that country. One way the Chinese could improve relations with the world is by helping free Otto Warmbier. He's a U.S. citizen. He's been imprisoned in North Korea for more than a year. We recently spoke with his parents, Fred and Cindy Warmbier. They have not heard from him since last January. Here's part of the conversation. I guess the assumption is for most Americans that the U.S. government is the most powerful government in the world, knows a lot, collects a lot of information, and that if you or one of your kids is in trouble, someone will help you. That's the point of having a government. That hasn't been your experience. Well, well this is how it happened. So Otto left on his trip, and we knew he was in North Korea. And then, of course, a mother figures these things out, and she says, he hasn't called me. He should be in China now. We do the 24-hour wait. And then the State Department calls us, and they, they ask us, does Otto take medicine? Does Otto, they don't say anything about detainment, but then, of course, we bring it up, and then they said, well, yeah, he's being detained in North Korea. What? That's how they told you? Does he take medicine? Yeah, I think they wanted to know any particulars. And uh, this, is how these, this is how the situation worked. Yeah, and... and the, yeah, well, that's to our awful. world. That is absolutely awful. Who called you? Some. Well, well, again, we don't want to. It's a uh, lower level person that is our contact person. She always tells us, I'm at the lowest level. But nobody called you to say, I have terrible news, Mr. and Mrs. Warmbier. Your oldest son is being held in North Korea. They instead I'm sure said, it ended up coming to that. But initially it was, we, uh, the Freedom of Information Act, we can't talk. He hasn't signed a waiver yet. And so, it, and it seems like, so that that's the that's the protocol that's used to approach. That's a heartless protocol to speak to parents that way. Now, John Kerry was Secretary of State at the time. Did you speak to him? We met, we met with. Him. And Secretary what was the outcome of that? A nice guy, <clears throat> nice person. Did he help uh, you in any way? Totally exasperated and overwhelmed with North Korea. Uh huh. Totally. Did he help you in any way? No, absolutely not. Did anyone in the State Department help you in any way? No, no, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, did your congressman or senator help you? Did they move the ball forward Look, in any uh, way? I, to be fair, we let Otto go to North Korea. We had no idea that this was going to evolve into what it has. What are your hopes for this new administration? This is a president who ran on the idea that he was looking out for all Americans and that we would no longer be shafted by other countries. Have you had any contact with this new State Department? No. No. Um, no one's reached out to us. Again, we let our son go there, but you would... I, I would have hoped that somebody other than the desk person who we have a relationship with, and she's a good person, and they're all good people, but I would have hoped at this point somebody would have reached out and maybe given us some reassurances, but that doesn't happen in our world. I mean, you all must have grown up believing the point of a government was to stand up for its own citizens. Do you feel differently about that now? Um. I'm like so shocked. The first thing after I got the phone call was, did you read the State Department blog, blog or whatever on North, on North Korea. North Korea before you let him go? And Wait, someone from the State Department said that to you? Yes. Oh, in other words, Many blaming times. you for the kidnapping and imprisonment of your son. It was your fault. That was the message from the State Department. Right. They acted like we were ignorant, basically, for letting him go. We feel Wait, ignorant. So they judged you and blamed you for your son's kidnapping by the North Korean government. Yes. Like it was your fault. That's what you got when you reached out to the U.S. government for help. Right. You got blame and judgment. And they asked us to stay quiet because they said it's better for everyone involved. Yeah, better for the bureaucrats, because nobody knows how little they're doing when nobody talks about it. Yeah, do you have a message for this new State Department, for Secretary Tillerson? What would you like him to do? Sure. I'd like to work with him to bring Otto home. He can make a difference here. He's a doer. It may be disrespectful to ask for that. President Trump, I ask you, bring my son home. You can make a difference here. I pray this is resolved. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank President you. Thank you.